Before I do this, I need to do something. <sighs> so much better. I'm going to challenge myself to spend only three days to create 30 real videos for my Instagram account and other social media accounts. So for this video, I'm only using an iPhone, a tripod, and my microphone, and every other tool that you're gonna see is going to be free. I'm using ChatGPT, Notion, Meta Business, and, and of course, Final Cut Pro to do all these stuff. And by the end of this video, I hope you're gonna see that there is really no excuse for you not to batch your content and quality content for your social media account. And yeah. Let's go. Talk about like why I actually do reels the, that is really easy to create them. It's a, has a potential higher reach than any other content that you put out there. Vanity metrics can come from these short form videos, which again, uh, I don't think is going to guarantee instant customers and leads, but it kind of builds your brand. It gives you the vanity metrics for your pages. And again, um, I just started the Aspiring CMO podcast uh, a month and a half ago, and I wanted to take it to the next level. I want to see how my my reels will perform. It only takes three days and if it works out then you can delegate it to your team or you can hire a social media coach to do it for you. And it's really there's no excuse because again I'm only spending three days on this thing right. None of my videos are going to be scripted. Yes I came up with the topics using AI but yeah most of it comes from my brain. I already set myself up for success and here are the following steps that you have to follow in order to keep up with the three day challenge. One, you are going to uh, do all the logistics at hand. You have to create topics already. So if it's a question based, you already know what questions you're going to answer. If you have, it's a storytelling thing, you already know what story you want to tell. And I don't want you to script it out because there's no point. You only have 30 to 60 seconds to talk anyway. For ChatGPT, I use a couple of prompts, but I think the best one that could give you a kickstart is the one I'm showing on the screen right now. Uh, what it should avoid, what it should uh, focus on. Again, you are teaching AI what you want to tell you. I don't know, try out this prompt, how it works for you. For me, it ended up giving me 15 good topics just so that I can uh, use it a little bit better. And the rest of the 15 topics I came up from this prompt, which is more of a question based. So imagine if you were, you know, a beginner and you want to ask an expert, what are the questions you would ask them, right? So finally, I got all my topics done. I've got 30 different topics to talk about based on my experience, based on what ChatGPT told me that I agree with that I can talk about. And it's all listed out on my my notions. Ah, I think I, let's get into recording. All right, before uh, I actually forgot that I want to gather some assets on this thing before I start editing my YouTube video or start filming the whole thing. Because for filming, you really need to like put your face up. And, like I want to do my makeup and all that. So I'm gonna have like dedicated folder for this whole project. I want to keep it organized from day one. And so by the time I get to the editing, all I need to do is just chop, chop, chop edit, render, and save it to the same folder and obviously give like automated subtitles. Uh, let's gather some b-rolls before I can do anything with it. Some music that I found interesting. At this point in the project, I don't know how the videos will turn out, so I'm just guess what I need. It's gonna be another half an hour or an hour of work. Don't you think sometimes it's better to just sit on the floor because you know the problem will knock you down anyways? I've been doing this for an hour. I already recorded at least seven stuff. Seven. That's my KPI for today's 15 videos. So just to catch up with everyone, I recorded half of my videos already and it's uh, 3.25. I started the whole project at 10 o'clock. A little bit more than half a day worth of work. I already got all my topics. I've already got all the back logistics or whatever. And I already have like half of the content done, which is like 15 videos. Just the recording, all right? I'm just talking about recording myself speaking. I feel quite great. I don't feel any burnout or anything, uh, which a lot of times comes with batch creating content. Plus, uh, while I did all that, I had some time to record stuff for the YouTube video. So, yeah. I can't believe I'm halfway through this challenge. 
Welcome to day two. Just something I found out recently. Weirdly, I'm using Slack to record all that. When I download all my videos, they still look good quality and I can just organize them very easily. It works pretty well for my real process. And honestly, I feel pretty tight on time. I think I should have used day one a little bit better, but uh, my goal today is to finish all the recording in a couple of hours and then spend the rest of my day just editing. Here's a quick look of my high quality studio where I use my laptop and my microphone only with one tripod and a phone. And here are the finished results. Okay, this is uh, day three of the challenge. The deadline is killing me right now because apparently editing should have taken two days instead of one. I'm going to uh, stop at 4 p.m. with the editing and after 4 p.m. I'm going to focus on making thumbnails and caption them and schedule them. So by the end of the day, at least I have something for this challenge, you know? Yeah, the reason being is that I don't want to just uh, put up random videos that I didn't think it's worth watching or, you know, it's like if you don't like your own content, why the hell do you put it out kind of thing. That that's my goal, but first, let's get some coffee. I genuinely think that this amount of caffeine should be banned from our body. I failed. And I'm finally done with this whole challenge. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I only did 17 edited videos. I did record all my 30 videos, but I could not finish on time. In summary, this challenge was not about, uh, you know, really hustling through all the 30 videos because I didn't want to sacrifice, I guess, quality. And second of all is that I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to batch content from A to Z. Although, no, it's not going to be 30 videos, but yes, you can get through at least half of it. If you are consistently putting out at least three short form videos more than five weeks worth of content and in five weeks you can do a lot more other things as well uh, i hope you found this challenge fun uh, just as much as i did because honestly the process was quite fun to devote only like three days or two and a half days into really going full time on creating videos so although i've been doing marketing for at least two years i was never the face of any single brand i always had to hide behind a logo or i had to tell the designer or another content creator what to create and how to create it and what to say in front of the camera so I guess although I am a marketer but being a content creator is a lot more different and to experience this and to really practice all these skills like uh, speaking in front of the camera creating thumbnails and uh, doing all the editing the transitions titles a cuts everything so like b-rolls I do think that this challenge is really a really fun practice for you to start something and to really see that three days worth of content can get rid of at least five weeks worth of work. So I'm very excited how these videos will perform and my strategy with it is to take the best performing ones into a long form video. I also wanted to test whether this whole challenge is going to scare me away from YouTube or not and so far it's really good. I, I am not scared uh, anymore. I honestly feel a lot more confident speaking in front of the camera editing myself finding the right angle in my little room and make the best out of all the resources that i have which is my iphone and one tripod yeah i really encourage you guys to start let me know if you enjoyed it give me a like and please subscribe for more videos like this because other than the podcast i'm going to upload more challenges marketing case studies and just processes tutorials literally everything you want to see on marketing Bye.